Well, as much as you don't want to get McAfee, like, <laughs> yeah. Like, hey. did, any, did anything come of his uh, dead man switch? Did anything happen? No. Oh, that's right. Remember, he had one. Was I haven't looked like, into it. Up. He mentioned it on the show. Yeah, I don't remember. He mentioned a lot of things on the show. He yes. did. He was. Uh, I mean, I thought he was funny. He was a little overbearing and weird, but he was entertaining to talk to. I didn't uh, enjoy him. Uh, so, a. Uh, I thought he was a pretty amazing change of pace. I thought it was an interesting show to hear this, like, what, multi, a hundred millionaire dude who lost all his money is being accused of murder and this, like, crazy stories, mm -hmm. hiding in the attic, peeing himself from Colombian police or Bolivian police or whatever it was. Like, I thought it was pretty amazing, pretty crazy. I wouldn't want him on every week because he's not totally coherent, but it was cool. A lot of fans didn't agree with me on that. It was like, yeah. usually I finish a show and know if it's a good one or not. And mm -hmm. I thought that was a pretty good show and a lot of fans didn't think so. Yeah, I didn't care for him either. Um, <clears throat> and, he ch and, and he challenged me to a duel at one point. Um, you know, it was it was just bizarre. <laughs> there was a point joke. where he made fun, fun of joke. us for not doing hard Well, he challenged drugs. me, so I get to pick. Do you remember okay, when he cool. was like, when he was like making up drugs, he'd be like, I've done drugs that you guys, you need an atomic scale, the slightest grain too much, and you're yeah. insane forever. The one grain too little, and you're as sober as a bird. I was and it's buying like, it. Did you take one grain too many? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you fucking I didn't up. even think that it was fake, but now I do, now that you say it. But I remember he's like, what, you guys have never done heroin? And Taylor goes... We're all a bunch of squares. <laughs> <laughs> every, every time I've ever seen him like do anything, I'm just like watching him, and I'm just like, why do people care what this dude's saying? Like, it's just the incoherent ramblings of a bad man, and like, literally, this dude has just like got rich and then just gone off the deep end. And it's, it's the same it's reason like, that like <clears throat> Alex Jones can be funny and entertaining. Yeah. He's like the tangents, yeah. the the like you don't know what they're going to say or where they're going to jump next. But it's not like no funny in a way like, oh, yeah, I'd love to have like a really in-depth conversation with you. You're so interesting. It's more like, man, I love laughing at you. You're such a fool. That's but true. <laughs> like if, we, like if you talk to Alex Jones, you'd be like, wait, tell me about, I don't know, uh, yeah. the moon. Let's get him as a guest. Actually, we need to be careful who we get as a guest because we've had a lot of deaths. We've had a lot of deaths. Um, uh, unfortunately, we, we just had a, a, a new one just the other day. Uh, John McAfee. Um, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Crazy. Yeah, and it's interesting because he had said that if he's like, I'm happy in prison, the food is good, the people are nice, if anything happens to me, they killed me. And then he dies, like, he hangs himself, like, a couple days later. That's so wild. That's, what, what would you know? Like, what, what, I, I know he's a big tech guy, and he was, like, uber wealthy, like, was You he, know what I think it was? What? I think that, John McAfee really loves attention. Like I think he's, I think he's a no. very smart attention whore, and he was like, "They've got me. I'm not dying in prison. Maybe even he was sick. Um, you know, maybe maybe he had some, maybe he had cancer or something. He was really think, old. He was very yeah, he old. Was he didn't look healthy. Like maybe he was just like, I'm gonna kill myself, but I'm, they're gonna talk about me for a long time. How Honestly, funny would it be though if it was John McAfee? who actually had like a dead man switch and a bunch of shit. It wouldn't get covered if he even had any damaging stuff, but that would be funny that of all people, it's the absolute maniac who said that we were dumb for not doing, or we were what pussies for not having tried heroin before. Yeah. I mean, look, I, yeah. I, I would try it. I just don't know where to get it, John. <laughs> Helen he was, released he was, the, Oh, he was 76, yeah, I, I think 76 in prison, you know, like, like, Maybe, maybe, maybe he killed himself. But my guess is he killed himself. Um, the the fact that he had like been so adamant that like if I die, they did it. Like I think he's a t like I think he really loves the attention. I think it's what dude, I would do. Eighteen months was a I death really sentence for attention. that dude. Maybe, 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 no. like, maybe it's rich people live a ton of time now. I mean, he's or, a drug or, addict. That's true. <laughs> I don't know if he's a drug addict, but I, I feel like, you know, it like was, I, he definitely enjoys his show drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drug user and drug addict are different things though, right? Like like I, I think he I think he's definitely enjoyed his drugs, but like uh That's but fair. I mean I, I he was doing such weird stuff though, right? It wasn't like he's like, yeah, I, you know, I shoot up some heroin every day. I have to. 
it was just like, yeah, I like to put little droplets of heroin in my eardrum. I can hear the world. And, and he was clearly bloviating a lot of that because he was pretending yeah. like, hey, Sasha or whoever the woman was, like pour the other half of that bottle of gin into this glass and bring it to me. And it's like, dude, you did not just at 76 drink a whole bottle of gin in 30. Like, there's no way. There, come on. Like, he was talking about possible. weird drugs we had never heard of that you needed like an atomic scale to get the right amount in or you die. Do you remember that? Yeah, and that's like the kind of thing I don't want to fuck with. It's the it's kind of thing like I do want to fuck with. It makes me think money just doesn't solve everything, you know? It's, like, <laughs> it's things like that. It's like that's like really it because you could like be like, I gotta get this drug that's on the atomic level of something. And it's like, man, you could just buy a ps5 from a scalper even you know like you could just you know but like that's not it they said there's obviously more there there's there's more there's things that money just doesn't sort out you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah you talk about the mcafee suicide note hotlo suggested it and i'm trying i have finding it in this all right so hotlo can you scroll down and show this to people the picture of the suicide note it hasn't been officially transcribed and I find it really difficult to read, but I will do my best. I'm waiting for him to show it. Yeah, I haven't heard about a suicide note at all from him. So they found this suicide note in his pocket, and his wife says it's not real. But yeah, this is the note. You can see why it's so hard to read. It seems to say something close to, I am a phantom parasite. In the present moment, I used it to attain my own ends instead of fully living it. I want to control my future, which does not exist, throughout knowledge, which mere ashes of memory. I've read it a couple of times. That's the best I can do. Yeah, that's that's about as what I was guessing. So was she saying like that's not his handwriting? She says it looks like someone who was trying to imitate his handwriting, and that her last conversation with him included, "I'll call you tonight." And um, she thinks yeah. that this suicide note is part of the cover-up, even though it does resemble his handwriting. If, I, if I'm following that right. Just so you guys know, Bizarre my suicide message. note, you'll be able to tell. The, the writing will be very feminine. Lots of person, <laughs> lots of person. And, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put the same clue at the end that um, Houdini left for his wife when he died. So we have at least two guests who've killed themselves so far. At least two. I was thinking allegedly about allegedly with John McAfee. We don't I was thinking know. about that today. Oh, There's no. no way to know. At least two that are dead. Yeah, yeah. I was I was thinking about that today when um because I, I spoke to that guy who like owned the whole chain of motorcycle stores and uh, I, at one point he was like, so, so, "What on some kind of a show? You like you said something about this?" And, I, and I, <laughs> I, in my head I was like, "Yeah, we do this." If he if he asked me what it was about, I was like, "You know, we have guests on like you know John McAfee before he killed himself and uh, Nate." from 60 days in before he killed himself and, uh, <laughs> and boogie before he like had that aggravated assault charge with a handgun and and like go down the line of like all of our guests <laughs> and the awful things they've done after the show and and chris hansen before he got into all that legal trouble <laughs> yeah yeah he's on my he's on my on my watch list <laughs> we'll see he's not not just oh, who died list. of cancer that was on the show oh oh shit total biscuit i felt disrespectful almost saying it like that but he's dead that's I three. I have this thing with like guests that we've had where like I don't remember them after <laughs> um after like the episode is over. Like, after like, eleven p.m. I don't yeah. I don't know who Total Biscuit is. Total I, Biscuit was a YouTuber. He did game reviews. He was really popular. And I remember um I remember the day he came on the show. This was cool to me. He was like <sighs> To say tail between his legs puts it in, in, in too a negative a light, but the internet hated him that day. I forget. He said something that they didn't like, and uh, it was like, hey, guys, like like we were going to hate him too. And it's like, oh, no, that's not our concern. Welcome to the show. We like you just fine. And I thought it was a good show. But, yeah, he was in some sort of internet hot water the night he came on, and, and uh, we didn't care. But um, yeah. but yeah, he. I think he had brain cancer. I'm not positive oh. about it being brain cancer, but I think so. And is that um, a bad one to have? Oh mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not no, one of the good uh, ones. Liver cancer. You it was hear, liver. You don't hear. I, I just went to his wiki. Stomach cancer. Yeah. I, you never Stomach hear about cancer. liver cancer very much. Or maybe I'm just wrong. 
stomach cancer is the worst to have, in my opinion. Like if I had to pick a cancer, stomach cancer would be on the bottom of the list. Pancreatic. Um, I knew a guy who had stomach cancer. He was um, he came into the dealership once and he was buying a car and uh, he had to take occasional breaks to deal with the pain. Jesus, that sounds. I don't want anything that messes with my bowels. The stomach might, but like, uh, I don't know. If I have to get a colostomy bag as part of the process, like that has a big impact on my um, happiness. You need to strap it to the back of the bike. It'd be good. Oh no, just let let it just leave the hose like <laughs> oh, in the wind. On like, my let, trip, nobody on my tell big me. Trip, I was following an RV, and I'm like, I'm getting wet. I'm getting oh, no. what liquid is coming out of a oh, fucking no. RV down the highway. You asshole. You asshole. You are draining your RV. And and it was probably the gray water. People don't know anything about RVs. They have gray water and what they call dark water or black water. The black water is the poop. The gray water might be like the, your dishwater or something like from the sink, uh, from the bottom of your shower. But whatever it, you don't I'm on a motorcycle it. and he's dumping some sort of old stuff. Yeah, was, you don't want that. That's super gross. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty gross. I, gross. I choose to believe it was his dishwater. Yeah, let's hope but... so. Or maybe condensation from an air conditioning unit. Let's just pretend it's that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to dream. We're going to yeah. dream that his air conditioning had so much condensation that it got me wet following him at 80 miles an hour. That's so gross. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to Um. <laughs> anyway, we were on guests. So I'm trying to think of who's the list of people that have died. There's there's Total Biscuit. Um, Nate from 60 Days In. Nate from 60 Days In. Obviously, John McAfee, who we just talked about. Um, Is there anyone else who died? Hopefully not. There's a couple that uh, aren't long for this world. Yeah. I know who you're thinking of. I don't want to say it out loud. Who are you thinking of? Who are you thinking of, Kyle? You know. Dude, with, there's a couple that are coming up. People that live unhealthy lifestyles, you know, you know. Sure, sure. Him and uh and another one too. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. not the one you're thinking of. We don't have the same one. Did you guys did you guys see the blade video? Oh god, it's gotta be him you're thinking of, right? I th I thought oh, you, he was yeah, you I thought weren't he was, even thinking of blade. All right. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see the blade video. How's he doing now? I assume he's turned it around. He was sober when he was on the show. Yeah, no. We talked about the video last week, remember? Like like the one where he's dropping the ends and telling his chick to go oh. get him some Kit Kats because they're scrumdiddly umptious. <laughs> well, there was like another. Like in the <laughs> yeah. 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 Play your greatest hits. Yeah. Tell me about the frogs. Yeah. 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 Tell me about the frogs. Tell me about the moon. Tell, what, what, yeah. Tell what me about the, the reptile vampires. <laughs> Tell me about Sandy Hook. Now I got to admit, I'm kind of retarded. That was the funniest little clip from him. No, I, I, I'm kind of retarded. Like, <laughs> it's like on the record. I got a bit, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that was a. I don't listen to full Joe Rogan's often, but when he was on, like, Joe has such a bizarre chemistry with him because they've been friends for so long that it feels like, like the Alex Jones, like, bah, 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 just trample over people. Joe can just be like, Alex. Settle down. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm yeah. sorry, Joe. I, you, you know me. We've known each other for a long time. I get excited and you hot me up. You know, that, that's all you <laughs> and, and, and you can see On this, like, oh, go ahead. On this, it's funny. I'm about to say this as I cut, I'll cut you off. But on the second one, Joe came in like on a mission to sort of be like, all right, you made an outlandish claim. Let's dive into that. Let's hear, let's hear the thought mm -hmm. process behind it. The first one, was instructional for me because I was getting a lot of fussing at the time about interrupting. And then I heard Joe Rogan, Eddie Bravo, and Alex Jones on the same podcast together. None of them let each other talk. None of them ever listened. <laughs> all of it, like they were just all yelling over each other. And I hated it. I hated that episode. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, like this is illustrating the importance of letting someone finish their thought. Uh, yeah, it gets jumbled quickly. Yeah. And, and, but like, I get invested in what this guy is saying, right? If this guy is saying, you know, the, whatever Democrat pedophile reptile vampires are running the white house. I'm like, Ooh, tell me more about that. Tell me why you think that. But then before he either gets debunked or backed up, mm -hmm. we're onto a new topic. And I'm like, well, you fucking ruined it. I really wanted to hear where that came from. And now you're talking about legal pot or something. It doesn't matter. We saw so, a clip of him the other day, and he was like, 
Marco Rubio was somewhere like oh, yeah. speaking to a group of people on a microphone, you know, like it's some sort of an event. He's wearing his suit and tie, which is the only way I've ever seen Marco Rubio. And there's Alex Jones. He's there. And he's not with the crowd. No. He's like, he like sidles up to Marco. Like he's next to him. Like, and he's a big imposing guy, especially next to Marco Rubio. And he's yeah. just like, just like trashing it. Just like, tearing, he's like, you know who I am. Infowars. You know Infowars. He's like, I do not know who you are. You know who I am. You know who I am. Tell the people the truth. And just like, like berating him. And he's just like, Marco's like, don't touch me again. Oh, tough guy. You're going to beat me up. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Oh, a big guy's going to beat me up. Little Marco's going to beat my ass in front of all of you. Let's go, Marco. Come on. And he's just like tearing him apart, embarrassing him. Marco's finally like walking away. He's like, yeah, enjoy your bathhouse. Have a good day. Have a good day. You know, off the bathhouse, like making gay jokes. It's just like, <laughs> it did not go well for Marco. It's so hard to like be in that position. Like it's one thing if he's at like a mm -hmm. bar or a restaurant looking like a fool in front of like normal people. But like Marco Rubio, there's no way he can like, take that without looking like an asshole or like he's lost yeah like, there's like, no good move for rubio there there's no good move you and can't even... engage on crazy island with alex because <laughs> he's the proprietor <laughs> so, <laughs> so everything goes in his favor on yeah. insane isle but uh it, what was like rubio was trying to like give an answer they're like something something about taxes i don't know and like as he's trying to answer in like the politician's proper way alex jones is standing next to him taller than him going hey why, why don't you tell like and he's like looking right at him why don't you tell him about your secrets huh tell him about the <laughs> tell him about the secrets tell him uh tell, are you gonna tell him you're gonna tell him about the censorship of your secrets no, you're not. You're gonna talk about taxes. You should have so. straight up been like, <laughs> I ate my brother's Easter candy when I was 12 years old. <laughs> you got thief it. man, thief now. These people are all like this. <laughs> you, can't, you can't argue with someone like that though, because they just like they just flit from thought to thought, and then the second yeah. you like the second you say something back to them, they just like, but what about? And they're just like, <laughs> well, what what were we talking about again? And you can't follow that train of thought because they're just a fucking moron. <laughs> yeah, because like, it's just, it's a carpet bombing of things. And so it's like, yeah. the government, that they're vampires, first of all. Second of all, that's the reason they went to the moon is to get their essence. They, they call it adrenochrome. That's a, that's a goose. That's a red herring. It's actually on the moon. And the reason we faked <laughs> it was so they could believe we couldn't get there to achieve it. And it's like, wait, but what about the underground thing? Like, can we go back to the beginning? Yeah, the You're worried about that when you should be worried about did. something else. Yeah. <laughs> I, is that a thing I, he ever said? The you should fake the moon landing was so that they didn't think that we could do it. No, I made that's that up. Fucking I, don't know. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. Oh, like, by the way, some of the. Uh, oh, go ahead. McAfee was on my podcast, on your podcast. Yes. He's dead now, right? So that he won't be died. appearing yeah, on any more himself. podcasts. Yeah. We. Yeah. we, yeah. we Strike while the iron's hot, right? That's yeah. why we're going to get Warren Buffett soon. Poor guy. Oh, really? I no. don't know much about McAfee other than he was a lunatic, but he was an entertaining lunatic. The best kind. Yeah. And I thought, wasn't cool. he supposed to have a kill switch with a bunch of stuff on it and then nothing ever came of that? Yeah. Where he, he like, like right. He just yeah. made up a bunch of shit hoping that, like, if he killed himself, it would, his ego oh, would yeah. get, like, juiced up a little bit. You he know. was supposed to have, like, I don't know, papers on a boat sailing around the world ready to dock and expose whatever if they... That didn't happen. Yeah, man, I, I don't no. blame him. I mean, when, when I'm going to kill myself, like, of course, a year, I'll plan it or whatever. But, like, yeah, a year course. beforehand, I'm going to start making up lies about having a kill switch. And, like, oh, if I die, you know, no, it wasn't me. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> He'll switch I'll make up. Yeah, yeah, I'll like have all sorts of shit I'll make up and then I'll die and nothing will happen because I'm not smart enough to actually make whatever a kill switch is. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, why not? That's... You know, actually, my suicide plan, you want to hear it? It's pretty I good. Do. Okay, so the whole plan is like, uh, you ever seen those, <laughs> those, uh, the things where like Evil Knievel where he jumps the Grand Canyon? Yes. yes, I would. I would set up a whole TV live TV event where it'd be like, watch me jump the Grand Canyon. And so you expect me to come out in like a big, like fast car or something like a jet car. I'll just come out in a riding lawnmower with like a little flag <laughs> on it. And you would watch me live on TV, just go up the ramp and then teeter off the ramp and fall down into the canyon. That'd be great. You could do it in yellow I face in a fat suit, like Homer on a skateboard. <laughs> 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 it like I slam into the ground. I We're going to make it. We're going to make it. <laughs> I want the pyrotechnics to go off at the landing spot as if I actually made it. Like, <laughs> 
time. Yeah. Yeah. Balloons lit off into the air, and then everybody's like, "Oh my god, he just died!" Like there was no chance after, to even make it four after, feet. And like your your wife has to get to get the news from your attorney. He spent all of your money on the thirty thousand doves that were released as he was killed. He's causing. He caused not only that. You owe money for the ecological damage of yeah. releasing thirty thousand doves into that area. Yeah, that's a good yeah. way to do it, man. For sure. Yeah, I didn't think about the bankrupting of my family, but they're going to have to pay for that crime scene cleanup at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. I'm sure the ultimate cheap. prank. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to prank my family. <laughs> <laughs> I spent all the money on top and killed myself. It's to the point where they fucking deserve it, man. I was like, when you were talking about Kyle being sick nonstop, I was thinking about it. I was like, this guy's only bitching about this being a weird occurrence because he doesn't have kids. Like, mm, I have two yeah. kids. They're under three. Mm-hmm. They, they deserve what they just, get. They just come home and then they just <coughs> into my face, and I'm like, it's constant. And like, I yeah. got the the blood test or whatever to see if I had uh, antibodies for COVID. And they're like, oh my god, you had it? Do you know when you had it? When were you sick? I was like, I've been. Oh, it's all. It's all I've been. I've just been sick for like a year. <laughs> like, it's constant. I was like, do I have HIV? Like, why is this? Like, why is my immune system so fucking low? Yeah. That I'm just constantly coughing and shit. I spent Christmas just wrapped around the toilet. I was Ugh. like, oh, I'm finally feeling better because I'm not coughing. And then I just started puking and shitting everywhere. I'm like, this, what the fuck? And it's my <laughs> kids. They get it for like a second yeah. and then they pass it on to me. And my, my immune system hasn't had a chance to bounce back. I don't have a three year old's <laughs> immune system. She's frolicking around going, like, Dad, why are you puking everywhere? <laughs> Well, it's because you. when dad was napping last you. night, you spit in my mouth. Yeah, you've been COVID <laughs> and you've been coughing all over my face and shit. I had my one, the one time I've had a friend, like a little collaborator, uh, someone else that does YouTube stuff. I flew him out to my house. I mm -hmm. set up my basement to have a nice little bedroom for him and everything. And this guy, I was like, God, I hope I don't get him sick. But he's like, don't worry, man. He's shredded. He's got like a six pack, he's fucking mm. super jacked and everything. He's like, I'm perfectly healthy. No, even if I get sick, it'll, I'll be fine. He was here <laughs> fucking 18 hours or something. <laughs> and he all of a sudden was just like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. PKA 493. So that was a thing. That was a thing. Um, so we all, Is whenever we have stressed a out. Yeah, so oh, stressed. Dude, I lost <laughs> my appetite happening? even before the show. Before the show started, I was like, I'm hitting, like, Taylor, please do your research on this guy. Like, I, I last night on my live stream, I'm like, am I, I, I was worried I'd be able to interview him well. I knew he'd be tough. I, I knew he'd be hard. I think we did all right. Getting him to tell his side of the Belize murder story was as great as you could do. You're um, welcome. <laughs> I think we did a good because job, also, because there is no interviewing any... him. There's yeah, no interviewing. Yeah. He is like a bowler made of horse shit that you have to get rolling down a hill. <laughs> Once it's rolling, you don't try to get between the horse shit and gravity. You just let it flow. You just let it flow. That guy has damaged his brain so severely. If you look, so we all do our research when we have these guests. I, I think it was clear last week when when each of us had had lots of background on our on our mm -hmm. on our guests. And uh, and we knew the right questions to ask to get the best responses. I, f I felt like we all did a very good job last last week. This week, I think we were we were equally prepared. I, I, I the only thing that I, I wanted to ask that I didn't was the fact that his he met his wife. And she was a prostitute who propositioned him. I wrote and that he, down too. Yeah, I didn't want. She seemed so sweet. I didn't want to be like. So she's a whore, huh? I, like, had, I didn't want to do that. If I had hours with him, I did. It, I wanted to. He said that he hasn't paid taxes since 2010, and he's the FBI's yeah. number one target. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to interrupt the murder story to talk about taxes. This is a <laughs> good opportunity to shut the fuck up. Let's take it. And uh, we we were maybe 40 seconds into the pre-show when I joined. When I'm like, oh. This list of topics and questions for him is absolutely useless. There is yeah. no way that he's going to like Kyle saying, you know, we did our research on this guy. We did. But I don't think any of our questions had any bearing whatsoever. on what he's <laughs> no, I, had three, I had three topics written down. Favorite drugs, which you hit anyway. Uh, the murder in South America, which Kyle hit. And uh, I guess he knew Jeffrey Epstein. 
but that wasn't on his Wikipedia page. It was from my Ooh. Twitch chat. So it wasn't a top priority for me because, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, the Twitch chat tells me the 76ers are injured every night. It doesn't mean, <laughs> it doesn't mean a lot. Yeah. I yeah. Rogan I, dies all the time. Yeah. Joe Rogan's Rogan's <laughs> died. Yeah. I had a lot of topics and questions, but like he was uh, like, like in the pre show, you know, why uh, Taylor was like literally two minutes late. Not late to the show, but but like late to like when McCaffrey right, got Skype. here. The call yeah. was two minutes old. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. the call was two minutes old. He wasn't late, but McCaffrey was actually early. Uh, that's mm-hmm. what happened. And in that period of time, McCaffrey had challenged me to a duel. And he was like, I was like, well, I, I, I think I actually challenged him to the duel. He brought up a duel, and I was like, well, I, I, yeah. For some duel. reason, he thought I was the smartest one on the call. I'm pretty sure it's because I need glasses. <laughs> yeah. I, you, you know he was going he was like well i'm gonna have a leather slip band holster and a clock 17 and i and you have to use a button down snap like, back. cowboy snap holster. cap holster <laughs> with a 1911 and i'm just like well what that's not how duels work. We use the same weapon. <laughs> but, like, like, yeah. You get to pick the weapon type. I'll tell you what. each of our setups. He yeah. challenged <laughs> us collectively to both a weed smoking competition and a duel. I don't think John did his research. He doesn't know who he's fucking with, Kyle. I could beat John in the weed smoking contest <laughs> and then kill him in the duel right after. <laughs> Yeah, the duel is really where he missed the mark. Like, you, know, he, you probably should know you're tremendous with a gun. You know? And and he seems, uh, actually, you know, he's the kind of guy who might be pretty fucking good with a gun and you don't know. Oh, I know he's very good with a gun. Uh, if you look at his, like, history, every time he's arrested, it's like DUI and possession of a firearm <laughs> while intoxicated. <laughs> it's like, it's, there's always a gun involved with each of his charges. It, 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 it's like international water with high caliber weapons so, mm-hmm. wait what <laughs> yeah he was he was clearly he's clearly brain damaged honestly like from he said he was in south america making all natural antibiotics i think we know what his laboratory was really <laughs> cranking out in, in belize right like like that i something else yeah I, oh and i i read his wikipedia and I'm not sure everyone will take from it the same thing that I did at the pre-McAfee stuff. This guy wasn't just a computer programmer. He was like God's gift to computer programming. His resume, like a top guy at Xerox when Xerox was the, the king of computing at the time. Then he moved to NASA and Lockheed Martin. And he got a copy of a virus and decided to invent antivirus. Uh, McAfee antivirus was not a bullshit thing you wish didn't come with your computer back in the whatever 70s or 80s it was it was the only antivirus around yeah yeah it's his, very his, impressive yeah his 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 list of accomplishments are he invented one of the very first im programs like 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 oh pow power pow wow pow power something, yeah, something like that pow wow that's what i thought this interview was going to be like so like wow pow wow how did you come mm. up with the idea for instant messaging over over the computer i mean today it's I mean, we're on a, we're on one of the leading programs that that do that today. Sky. How long did you think that's that's maybe not what the interview is going to be? Forty five seconds <laughs> yes. after he joined the fucking phone call, and I realized he wasn't just doing a bit. Like, right. like I, I thought at first that he was being goofy and silly with us. Like, like, then he kept. He said like three times. He's like, "You should have been recording this," and then he went on one of the like. You guys got to hear like th- forty five minutes of him mm-hmm. ranting. He ranted from the moment he joined the call, and we told him we weren't recording. Uh, so, yeah. be in the before the show starts, right? I look at every cam- Red Wings cameras. I try to make our heads roughly the same size. I try to get everything right. John oh, McAfee oh, oh. doing all this <laughs> shit, right? He's moving around. He's, he's got the McAfee dance cooking, and I'm like, well, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> we're gonna get what you get on this. Right, we're going wide on McAfee. Go wide on McAfee. <laughs> you couldn't. His head was cut off a lot. But his head was cut off on the feed. There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Yeah. He, See, he, <laughs> like, it was maybe, you're right. I, I didn't know because we were on Skype, and Skype's changed that I had to click into the call. I was still waiting for it, and I get a text from Kyle a few minutes before we're slated to start, and it just says, hurry up, get in here. He's on a weird manic rant. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I hop in there, and yeah, he's, I, I didn't know if he was 100% sure we weren't recording yet. 
He, he was like sure he did later. We yeah. we made sh- he we made sure he knew and we explained it. And then he insulted us a few times. Yes, yeah. So before the show, there's usually we talk for a few minutes, maybe set him up for success. And uh, we don't record that. We've never recorded that. If someone's like, yeah. it's pretty rare if someone says something that they wouldn't want to get out. But we've it's, it never happens. And uh, he's like, you know, <laughs> you're missing out because this is gold, <laughs> you know. And, and I was like, yeah, but but we don't do that, you know. Yeah, we're we're not ready. And he's like, what are we waiting on? I'm like, the, the third guy. The Fuck third- him. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's about how. And I'm like, no, no. You see, he's. he's He's pretty good. We we want him here. You know, like like <laughs> he's no, on the way. Three thirds of the show, generally. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. He, you know what? I like him. Yes, that, that was an interesting guy. But I didn't you, like, like him. No, it was halfway into his stories. I liked I'm him like, as a oh, guest. I have no idea what's happening. Yeah, oh. I mean, I like him as a guest, of course. Yeah, yeah. I, I like don't like him as a human being. I w- I couldn't stand to be well, in a room with good. him because. I'll tell you what he well he reminds me of. If you've ever been around someone who's really drunk and you're really sober and you just wish they'd shut the fuck up, you're like tired of their silly billy nonsense. Like mm-hmm. like he was like that. And maybe that was because he was actually drunk because he actually has finished off a bottle of Jameson today. Or maybe that's all a big act. All I saw was a big empty bottle of Jameson. I we've sat here drinking. and put away like we've sat here and put bottles away and we weren't that goofy. I made fun of a crippled man, <laughs> but I didn't I didn't rock back and forth and talk about God being a trisexual. Who was Riley? The man? Oh, he's not, yeah, okay. Yeah, a little full. <laughs> it uh, felt like his, his mouth I like <laughs> Riley. Speed that he couldn't I like <laughs> Riley too. I apologize. I that's the only thing I've ever apologized for, for saying on the show and I've said some horrific things. The only thing I've ever apologized for and will ever apologize for. <laughs> fuckers. He's um, making fun of that man after he injured his spine because I yeah. was just so drunk. I'm glad he's so okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad he can walk. Yeah. Um, of course, it makes it to get in with Elena now. I, I was liking how many different times he'd be like, and you know, God, God comes down, he's sitting there, and it comes down to three, it comes down to two things. A, God is a woman. B, God is a man. Three, God could be a, and it's like, wait, what? You just said there's two possible options, and now we're into A, B, C, D, and that reminds me of Belize, and they shot my dog, <laughs> and I had, and like, it's, uh, it, it was so You hard. need a $5,000 scale to understand the shit I'm talking. <laughs> then you low. Dude, that drug sounds like a punishment, the way he described it. Yeah. Tactile it- and auditory hallucinations at the bank, you're not selling <laughs> I was uh, I don't know I was buying I was buying what he was selling I'm like wait a minute so tactile you can feel your dick getting sucked and his dick's nine feet long and it's getting sucked and and he's ready to go and I'm <laughs> he described that as if he was calmly stoically standing there at the counter at Bank of America I guarantee he was a fucking loon <laughs> doing, doing yeah, and you could sl- as the poor clerk the teller is trying to figure out if he wants to deposit he was tr- he was he was just a stream of insane consciousness so <laughs> I couldn't even slip jokes in when he was telling that joke about getting his dick sucked I want to be like and that's why he's not allowed at Bank of America anymore but no you can't because he's just gonna keep flowing right into the next nonsense yeah. you ever- like I you, had some material around God as a she male, and I, I, I was like, oh, it's, it's sometimes you seize the opportunity to be quiet. It, it was that old <laughs> Skype thing where it's like, you know, he he tramples over you three different times in a row, and then you decide like, I'm getting this question, out. <laughs> and you get like 22 words into it, and he's still talking, and you're like, this isn't gonna happen. <laughs> it's not, he has no interest in listening, let alone answering what question I'm trying to pose to him. Right now. Uh, I, oh, and, and you know and what's really interesting. <laughs> he had nothing to promote. <laughs> Why was he here? <laughs> yeah, so, so, uh, oh, Kyle distracted me. Uh, oh, oh, Kyle said he was uh, a manic and a crazy person ranting to me. I also think he's a crazy genius. Yeah. And if I had more time, we could have gotten some nuggets of genius to fall through, you know, to, to come out. This guy was an actual genius, right? I agree with you. He really was an agree. actual yeah. genius person, someone as, as smart as I could ever dream of being. And 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 then since then, you know, he's discovered drugs and you know hit his mid seventies and stuff like that. But I, I still feel like there's nuggets of interesting stuff in there, I, I, ideas that are unique and he came up with on his own. He genuinely does look tremendous for a seventy four year old man who he, is. He really does. Yeah, he looks good. He looks fifty something. Mm-hmm. And he's at seventy four, man. 
And I really do have more gray in my beard than he does. Like he did, has like, two things here and that's it. I like that he doesn't seem to really or what what did he call us bitches for not experimenting with heroin? <laughs> yes. That is the level of alpha. I don't think any of us were prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys no. haven't tried heroin? It's like shit. I've never felt bad about it before. <laughs> <laughs> well, where, where was he? Oh, uh, we, he, it's a tree. Do we know? Wikipedia say. says he's in America. His Wikipedia says he's in America, and then he went in Lexington, uh, Tennessee, I think. But I think he's hiding on a yacht or something, and he didn't want to say where he was. If it isn't America, we should let people know we started recording at two p.m. Central Time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just so you know, like, like this is the earliest we've ever we we uh we moved the show uh the, the both weeks in a row. Last week it was like an hour or two early because our guest obviously was in the U.K. But I have no idea where this man is. But it required a three pay, three p.m. Eastern start time and Skype. I like to imagine that he's on the East Coast. He just he just he just <laughs> wanted to do it then. Yeah, and that was the whole thing. Probably is. He's like, no, I don't want to do it then. Something to promote? No, I'm worth you know fifty million dollars or whatever. Fuck oh, me. he's not. He, he used to be worth a hundred million, million, but uh, now it's more like three, four. Yeah, it, it, his Wikipedia page said it went. He lost ninety six million of his hundred million value, net worth. Uh, but Wikipedia, you know, you eight, don't, right? Yeah, like, yeah. During that economic downturn, and uh, but I don't know how it's gone since then or whatever. Busy. I. It would surprise me to learn he had nothing to promote. Yeah, I was gonna say it would surprise me to learn that that guy's pulling. Optic Hex comes on here and he's got a whole bunch of businesses booming to promote. <laughs> yeah. John McAfee comes on and he's, he just rants about titties and drugs, and then he's like, "Well, time to go." <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. I, I thought for sure that you'd written s some sort of new program, or there was a nootropics business, or uh, or maybe some. He's sort not of running vitamin any businesses company. right now. That's no. what I was trying to get out. He, he's he's not getting anything going. We can't. Just, I thought he was kind of joking a little bit very early in the show where he's like, oh, I'm two bottles of Jameson in, but fucking Janice better bring me my quarter fifth of gin and tonic or whatever it was, my mojito. mojito. And it was like yeah. maybe 15 minutes later, he's like, where the fuck is Janice with the mojito? <laughs> like he's, he was no, actually upset, not getting his mojito. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he told her to go get one, I think just before you got on the pre-show call. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I knew that was real. I was well, like, what's Janice wrong? You getting the shakes? Favor. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, wow so that's a thing so that's a thing yeah you know like i hope i hope people enjoyed that i was very uncomfortable throughout the whole thing mm -hmm. and just sort of I, I just i felt like i was on some sort of a roller coaster ride that like like i can't get off i thought i was gonna like this ride but now it's just really bumpy and i'm getting a little nauseous answer we'll me this ride it out have you ever felt more like what do i do on this show no than that because i've i usually feel like i'm pretty I, I put a lot of time in researching guests coming up with questions and i tried to do that as much as i could but like he he is a riddle wrapped in an enigma that guy I, yeah. there is no way to know what's going to send him on a 15 minute rant about very little taylor i was oh. so stressed headed into this for for two days now i've been worried about how to do a good job interviewing john mcafee i I had George Foreman chicken, rice, and mixed vegetables, and I gave it back to Jackie. I'm like, what is this? No, no, I don't want this. I eat this twice a day for years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my appetite over this interview. Uh, I, didn't See, I wasn't like that. Anything, but I, I just felt like I, I, I was. I wanted to be prepared for it. I wanted to like know more about the guy, and uh, and I really thought that we were going to be interviewing some sort of business magnate who's got a cookie hmm. side. That's what I was thinking too. I was thinking that it'd be like, oh man, he's going to talk about silly fetish stuff and then he's going to drop some knowledge about how blockchain works and he's this hyper genius. Mm. But yeah, it was a lot more the... The hyper genius part was hard to get into. That, that, yeah. that diamond is encrusted in dirt. Yeah. So I, I hope people enjoyed that. Um, you know, we've been trying to get him forever. He's canceled like last minute three times or <laughs> something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm sure because he ran out of mojitos or something, or, <laughs> or the or the Belizean government was hot on his tail, or, or or his dog was getting assassinated. God knows what. Did you know the, the assassination thing made a little bit of sense to me? Like I don't know. Hey, per, you, all right, perhaps I'm gullible. I'm just like, oh, this is all fitting together. Quite honestly, I was thinking, why does the the government of Belize need to frame you if they want to get you? Can't they just get you? 
Yeah, that was. I mean, I, that was a good question to ask. Not that it would have mattered. <laughs> no, <laughs> his answer would have been like, "You don't understand the ins and outs." of the Belizean government, do you? <laughs> and I'd be like, no, fucking, do you? <laughs> Clearly not. Uh, Mr. Bain, <laughs> positive Belize had a government. I didn't know. The only thing he wouldn't answer is when Taylor asked him about how they tortured him in Belize, and he just went, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I just if I just pictured him like in Rambo First Blood 2 chained to that fucking uh mattress spring box springs going ah being electrocuted by a I, fucking officer. I had a joke about Miss Cat the Dominatrix working for the Belizean government that I couldn't get in. <laughs> it's rough. A lot of jokes didn't get through. No. <laughs> no there's not a lot of there's shared like, oh, here's the, no, guess well time's passed now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was very interesting. Uh, I, I was not worried leading up to it at all. I was thinking exactly what Kyle was. It was like, oh, it's going to be another interview on PKA. He's a goofy guy who's also very smart. He'll, you know, I thought way more of it was a bit. And, a, and maybe that what he was doing is partially a bit. Maybe. but And we're falling for it. I don't maybe. know. Maybe. Yeah, he may have gotten on that call and went, whoo can you believe that? <laughs> I bet they think I'm crazy. <laughs> all right. It's, it's like there was an old SNL skit about Reagan where, and this uh -huh. is when Reagan was president and, you know, everybody thought Reagan was a real dumb dumb and, and the skit starts off and the guy playing Reagan is like, well, hello, little girl. Uh, yes, I'll sign this for you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed coming, coming to the Oval Office. Now you, you have a nice day now. And, and the, some advisor comes in and asks him a question and he's like, oh, I just don't know. Um, have, have Ted take care of this one. I just don't know anymore about those sort of things. And he walks out of the room and he goes, all right, everyone, back to work. And then, like the do the wall swings open, and thirty advisors come in at once with like flow charts, and they're and he's giving notes and commands to like eight different departments of government, and like control, like like handling war fronts in the in the Middle East and oil prices, and 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 they're like, sir, please slow down. I I've got one speed, and he's he's just like, <laughs> I imagine he's like that. He got off the he got off the phone call, and he was just like. Ooh, I bet they think I'm a real goofball. Janice, get a load of these tards. They bought it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, that that was that was weird. That was fucking weird. Jesus Christ. So, so I want to hear about some of your time in Belize. It, it seemed like you got into a bit of trouble down there with the, the government of Belize, and, and you had to end up leaving the country under ridiculous circumstances, and I understand they ended up auctioning off a lot of your property, and and then I read that your 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 home there even was burned down under what they call suspicious circumstances. What's the <laughs> truth that people don't know behind that? Oh, it's too fucking long. I mean, he said, you know, like, got in. I didn't get in much trouble. I mean, they tried to kill me. They had the army, the uh, police after me. I, they were shooting at me in the jungle. I mean, I was in hiding for two months, escaped into Guatemala. Got arrested three days later in Guatemala, and police demanded that I be returned so they could torture and kill me. And but just the beautiful thing, third world company countries, folks. The uh, the attorney general for Guatemala, a gentleman named Telesforo Guerra, the attorney general. I hired him for a hundred thousand dollars and said. <laughs> I just want to go back to America. Can you make that happen? He goes, yeah. And that was it. So no, um, I went back to America. Why did the simple authorities in Belize think, deal. why did the authorities in Belize think you killed somebody? Uh, okay. So now you need to go back a year. Okay. When Okay. First of all, I was in San Pedro, the American enclave on the tourist island of San Pedro, one of the most beautiful fucking places on this planet, by the way, if you want to the fact that people were there. In any case, um, I got bored. After three years, I said, I'm, I'm going into the jungle, the interior of Belize. I went into um, Orange Walk District, the largest district of Belize, uh, 18,000 people, all of them black bought a huge piece of property, built a serious fucking compound for millions of dollars, staffed it with very dangerous people, all of them heavily armed, um, and basically called attention to myself, which is one of the stupidest things I've ever done. I, I, mm -hmm. It's stupid. 
as you get older. In any case, I've been there for a year and a half, and the local political authority in the largest district in police came to me and said, Mr. McPhee, our election's coming up in uh, five months. If you would donate $2 million uh, to our party, here's what we would do. Uh, we would give you a million acres along the river. Well, that could eventually be worth billions, but I probably wouldn't live that long. Um, tax breaks, uh, all the pussy you could ever goddamn imagine. <laughs> uh, I, I idiotically said no. Now, what idiot says no when the person coming is representing the goddamn government and they have 17,000 soldiers with AR 15s, tanks, and fucking helicopters? No, who does that? Well, I do. I'm stupid. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> I should have said two million. Let me give you four or ten. No, I said no. Well, one week later, forty-seven armed soldiers from the gang suppression unit, which reported directly to the prime minister. It's the equivalent of the Navy SEALs in America. Stormed my property, arrested me, shot my dog in front of my eyes, saying, Mr. McVie, if you do not think we're serious, boom! The dog's head exploded in front of me. My goodness. It sucks. That's sad. I just said, um, I see you're serious. What is your name, my friend? Anyway, so now, um, uh, whew, uh, I spent a terrible day. I was tortured. Uh, they destroyed my my lab. I was doing um, antibiotic research. It cost me half a million dollars in damages, and then just left. My <laughs> goodness. <laughs> What, what kind of torture were they putting you through? Rather, uh, anyway, so the next day, the next day, the, the same gentleman who asked for the two million came back and said, Oh, Mr. McPhee, good. We are so sorry. We made a mistake. We had bad information. Please forgive us. <laughs> and Mr. McPhee, by the way, have you <laughs> reconsidered your donation? Well, I was pissed off by then because they shot my dog. I don't give a shit about the destruction of property. They killed my dog. Mm -hmm. I had seven. Mm -hmm. Yes, it says, but they killed my favorite dog. Guerrero. Anyway. Um, so, uh, Mr. McFree, we're terribly sorry. We made a mistake. However, Mr. McFree, uh, have you reconsidered your donation. I, I said well, I'm very simply, very politely, by the way. <laughs> Up there, I will shoot you in the head right now. That was another mistake. I should have said, I have indeed. <laughs> now that you've shown me the truth, uh, the light of uh, the proper way. You're a bit of a slow learner here. <laughs> I am. It's, you know why? It's my fucking emotions. No, no, I'm, and I meant it. I, I had a 357 Magnum and a shoulder muscle, which I pulled. I didn't point it at him. I had it in my hand, pointing to the ground. I said, get off my property, never return us. I will kill you. Do you understand me? Because I knew what they had done. They killed my fucking dog. I mean, forget the torture. Forget the half million dollars. Forget everything. No, they killed my goddamn dog. No, I had they. <laughs> sorry, they don't pass muster here. Get off my property, or else I will kill you. Well, that started <laughs> a war with the Belizean government, which lasted for seven months up until the time that they couldn't collect me legally. Why? Fuck me! I had the had the most serious security. Listen, if the Belizean army had tried to collect me illegally. A hundred of them would have died, and of course we would have all died as two, but no, we're not going to do that shit, because I moved back to San Pedro, the American fucking enclave, 94% of all Belizean income comes from Americans and the tourists, they don't fuck with you, San Pedro, however, they were so goddamn clever, one night, 
the government poisoned nine of my 16 remaining dogs. And the next night, killed my next door neighbor after planting rumors that he had killed my dogs. I knew better. He was a, um, hang on a second, Janice? <laughs> hang on. Janice! <laughs> Hey, Taylor, maybe take a second to fix your camera again. Okay. I don't know why it's doing this. Sorry. No, it's, what can you do? We don't... <laughs> for, for any viewers, uh, John wanted to use Skype, so th this is new to us. Well, old to us, but whatever. I'm talking to you. Oh, I thought you were finished. No, no, I haven't finished. Probably the way left by now. It's been very boring so far. Hello, anyway. everyone. Sorry about the interruption. I don't think I heard that. Probably not. <laughs> All right, so now. Okay. okay. Sorry about the interruption, everyone. No problem. <laughs> it's all You're good, fine, Janice. Janice. I don't know who this woman is. I just... <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out later. So, anyway. um, So, yeah. So, the I knew it was not my neighbor. Poison my dogs. God damn it, he had dogs. You tell me, people, what dog owner is going to kill somebody else's dogs? Mm -hmm. Poison? I mean, I, I woke up at two in the morning and they were lying in the sand on the beach, vomiting their intestines out of the mouth, or shitting their intestines out of the grass. I had to kill them all. Wow. Uh, you think that you think that was not a um, a difficult task? Then you've never had a dog before. Can you imagine nine that you loved, you raised from puppies five years earlier? You fed them, you cared for them when they bit into a porcupine. You helped. Oh, Pull out the fucking spines. Mm -hmm. You cradled them when they were sick. You loved them. And they're out there in the sand vomiting their intestines. I don't know, so I shot them all. I knew it was not my fucking neighbor. He loved dogs, people. <laughs> they forgot this. I <laughs> know. No, no. no. The well, next night, my that saying the next night that neighbor was murdered, shot in the back of the head, gangster style. <sighs> if I wanted to do harm to anyone, I would hope that I had the common fucking sense to wait six months mm -hmm. or a year before taking it. What idiot! What idiot! And you can't say, "Well, you know." Uh, the, um, what do they call that? The uh, anger of the moment. No, it was fucking, it was 24 hours later. Plenty of time, I think. Mm -hmm. right. It was the Belizean government. Mm -hmm. 18 hours later, they came for me. I knew they were coming. I knew they were coming. I hid in an attic in my, my estate on San Pedro, which are designed specifically for such emergencies. <laughs> Mm. This has been my life for 55 years, so of course I have an escape plan. So I yeah. hid in the attic, 22 hours, laying motionless. I pissed my pants because I was afraid to move, to make a noise. Police were searching right below me for me. Um, special room, impossible to detect. After 20 some hours, I came down. The police were gone. Scurried across the sand, hid under another one of my buildings in the sand, which had under a huge piece of plywood, had a little small, shallow grave dug in the sand, which I put myself in with the plywood. Mm -hmm. The police actually came by two hours later, looking again with flashlights and so on. They left a about 4 a.m. 
Yeah, in which case I left, walked a hundred yards up the beach to a neighbor who was a seasonal resident of San Pedro and had given me the keys to their house so that my caretaker could maintain me and take care and hid in their back garage with a lock that I had the key to. Mm-hmm. And called Samantha Nagus. One of the seven women I was living with at that time. And I called her because I knew that she had set this whole thing up, which she had, which she admitted to later. And I said, are you going to help me now, Sam? She was crying. I said, yes. So I said, then you call this taxi driver, which I had arranged a year before and paid the man a fortune just in case he gets a call with this code word. She flew over from Orange Walk to San Pedro and went from the airport to the taxi. The taxi came up. This is the craziest thing ever. Came up that dirt back road. 14 miles from San Pedro town to where I lived. I jumped in the taxi. I hid on the back floor. Sam had a flowing, Samantha had a flowing dress, covered me with it. Three minutes later, as we're heading south on that road, the police, two vans, maybe 25 officers, were heading up to my place to continue Mm -hmm. their search. They stopped us. But Samantha did what Samantha always does, a very sexy, uh, alluring, lusty <laughs> lady. Ah. Did she convince them not to oh, pursue with a little sexual favor? No, it didn't have to do anything. She merely, as she saw them coming, she opened her blouse so that her nipples were not quite peeking out. Everything else was. And so no one, and this van stopped us. The police are here. I'm looking up to the left of Sam's left leg. And I can see the goddamn police officer looking. And I'm looking down. He's looking at Sam. Uh, they have a brief conversation. And we move on. And it's a long story. You don't want to hear this shit plus we're over time. Maybe another day. All right? Jeez. So... <laughs> You're running I'm for sorry. president against Trump and Biden. How would I'm you not, describe? I was. I'm you, not. I'm not. I was. I was running under the libertarian banner. They chose mm-hmm. a woman. That's mm-hmm. fine. Uh, to be the nominee. Now, in 2016, I came in third. I didn't even place this time. I, I'm a transity people. So anyway, oh. I've got to run. Janice just gave me this sign, which means you guys mean nothing now, Janice. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to Janice, we are nothing. Yes. Okay. Well, you Talk did to you give later. Janice our best. <laughs> Will do. Thank you for coming on. Really, we all right. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs>